we are on the threshold of some major things on the earth. Amen. Major, 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 major. Hallelujah. And it's so major, I don't know what to do. Amen. You, you got to have a honest, honestly, I don't know what to do. Amen. It's too big. Amen. So how you pray? I don't know what to do. It's too big. I see some folks preaching at Atlanta. When I see them preach, I said, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know what to do because, you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I'm telling you. Amen. I, I, I see people preaching that even though we prophesied it, I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked. Amen. Folks who were just playing bass guitar and nothing else. You're not hearing me, you know. Just playing bass guitar, nothing else. Amen. And when I hear they preach, yes. mm. Amen. The service spoiled because you had the bishop go over and talk to him and say, talk to another bishop right in the service. Say, bishop, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Come on. Because God has raised up so many preachers Amen. that if I can get every one of you to go to a different country, mm -hmm. and I mean to be itching around and stay nearby where everything is comfortable. If I could get all of you to just take a country, mm. ISIS would look like fools. Come on. You too, you too. He's looking at me, you too. Come on. Come on. Who I thought didn't get it yet when I hear them preach. I said, my God, hallelujah, something has shifted. And it, it, it's like we don't get it. Let, let me give you an idea. Get it. A pastor came to one service in, in Georgia. And she came, they asked her to greet. And all she greet, when she came out, she came, she came and she said, he said, this thing that I am seeing as of now, I, I, I am going to stay near. I said, if it, and to use the scripture, if it's evil, like the scripture that says, even dogs eat what fall from the table. This is the pastor now. You're not hearing me. She said, listen. Listen, if it's even like a dog under a table, I am staying near this thing. This move. And to prove it, the following night, she skipped her own watch night service and came. Oh. Are you working with me? You, you got to help me out now, because this thing is big. This thing is big. I'm trying to get some of you to go just down the road or go over to New Jersey and, and, and whatever, you know, and you're trembling and worrying and praying for there to be a change and praying for the leader to back down and don't go so fast. Mm, and hoping, Lord, don't let him choose me. <laughs> Come on. Listen, right now I need I need one preacher, one preacher to, to go to, to Atlanta by, by, by mountain. I, I ain't no play. One preacher. Yeah, yeah. To take them over the hill. They do the climbing. But, but I, need a, I need a preacher. I need a family. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you praying for the preacher? Hallelujah. I, I ain't got no time for, for show and impression. We are all in this thing together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I find somebody? Oh, glory to God. I'm telling you, you see, we, 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 we always talk about the last days, and it sounds strong when you hear the last days. Oh, it's the last days. So, whoa. You see,
see from Bible times, if you do a little study in Bible college, they teach you about the different ages. Am I right, principal? The, 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 the Israeli age and the... Help me with some of them. <laughs> Eternity past and, and the present age. You see? <laughs> Eternity future. You learn about the you learn about the ages, then you learn about dispensations. Am I right? Anybody remember one? Ignorance and innocence. Government, human government. <laughs> Come on. So we learn about the ages, then we learn about dispensation, then we learn about years. The year user died, and you, you, then you hear about seasons. Are you coming with me? Are you coming? Let's go again. Ages, come on, come on. Dispensations, come on now. Help me out. Years, seasons, then you hear about days, last days, the day of the Lord, the final day. But let me tell you what they never teach us in Bible college. They never teach us about how. You know because you are a principal of a Bible college. They never, they don't know that. They never teach us about how. That ain't in theology. Hallelujah. And some time ago I preached a message. In one day. In one day. I want you scholars to help me to prepare a sermon called in one hour. You're not working on me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, scholars. Come on, scholars. Come on, scholars. In one, the Lord showed me that we are gone beyond the expectation of a day. We are gone beyond last days. Come on, somebody. We are gone beyond final days. We are gone into the hour theology. Into the hour doctrine into the hour revelation are you coming with me are you coming with me huh. Huh. and that's why God revealed the revelation of the ninth hour it's not just any hour now come on you gotta preach about the last hour because because we've gone beyond last days and now we are on the day and you gotta get to the hour are you coming with me church come with me 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 Jesus told the most faithful men on the earth who were his apostles and say ah now I, 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 I'm kind of down and, and it's coming to the end will you just tarry for one day for one day you sure it's not there are you sure it's not there Power. it's what Power. So they started well during the day. But when it was time for the final hour, Jesus said, watch and pray. Help me with the verse. Help me with the verse. I told you help me. Watch and pray that he fall not or enter not into temptation. What is now? This temptation, some preachers preach it as, you know, to sin. No, no. This temptation is referring to the tribulation. It's referring to what happened just after the rapture. After the rapture, there will be seven years of tribulation. So when God begins to talk about how Oh my God, oh mercy. Because rapture come before tribulation. When God gone down from, from ages to help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. To dispensation, help me, yeah. Come on, come on. To, no, to years, come on now. To seasons, come on, help me, help me now. To days, and he gone down to hours. It means that we are on the finite edge of time that's why God gave the revelation of the ninth hour because 
kind of fulfillment that I see in the ninth hour. I, I, I confess something to you. I want to stop talking about ninth hour. I, I'm telling the truth. Because I don't like numbers. I don't, I don't like some, some will accuse you of, of numerology and gematria. This is not numerology and gematria. It's just ninth hour. It's just ninth hour. You don't have to know a lot of mathematics. You just look in the Bible. <laughs> come on. And you see nine. Come on. Come on. God went down into the Garden of Eden to search for Adam in the cool of the day. That was the ninth hour. Come on, somebody. Are you praying for the preacher? This may be my sermon. Come on, you better hope it's a sermon. Have your sermon coming later than we leave tomorrow morning. Come on, somebody. Are you with me, somebody? Oh, Moses went up in Mount Sinai to hear the voice of God on the ninth hour. Are you with me, somebody? Uh, Elijah. Oh, Jesus. Hey, oh my God. Disqualified and invalidated the false prophets. Oh, man. On Mount Carmel. On the night hour. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Somebody say how. Somebody say night hour. Somebody say in one hour. Ah! Are you, are you walking with me? Are you coming with me where I'm going right now? Jesus! Oh, I, I want to connect you with the gathering, but I don't know why God let me run so far. Jesus! Remind me where I am. Remind me. Remember, I said Jesus. Okay. Remember, I said Jesus. All right. I'm going to come back to that. All right. Are you with me, somebody? You see, the great gathering oh, is the gathering. Oh my! Historically, before the flood of Noah. Connect with me. Connect with me. The great gathering historically is the gathering before the fire of Sodom. Oh, Baba, because God is looking for a final hour gathering. Are you coming with me? Somebody here. The, the great gathering is a gathering historically before the famine of Egypt. Where I was again, what word did I say? Yeah, let me hear the word. Thank you, 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 thank you. The great gathering is historically the gathering before the first coming of Jesus. <laughs> Come on, you, you ain't writing down. Rabahanda. Hallelujah. So you got four F so far. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Number one, come on, flood, hit me. Fire, hit me, come on. Famine, come on, our first coming. So they, they tried to kill him. Somebody say, gathering to Hawa. So they tried to kill him. So on the final hour, let me, you know who gathered for Jesus? But the first coming, that woman, my God, in the temple. Come on, they say, woman don't teach. Come on, someone, a woman don't prophesy. But a woman was in the temple waiting on the first coming. You're not, you're not working with me, somebody. Are yeah? you with me, somebody? Simeon was waiting. Come on, somebody. He was gathered in the temple. Come on, somebody. He was waiting for the first coming. What's, the, what, what's historical? The, the flood hit me now. Fire, I'm come on, uh, famine now, uh, first coming, and they were waiting. Uh, I just want to clarify that that there were some folks who had it together. There were some wise men. 
Oh, you don't understand Christmas, huh? Uh, there were some wise men who were waiting, so they began to search for the first coming. Oh, Shiba, Bakropopo, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. Somebody say, Jesus, somebody say, Jesus, my God, my God, my God, my God. But when the first coming came, some folks couldn't handle it. Come on, somebody, instead of gathering unto Jesus, they tried to destroy him and when he was on the cross uh, the bible says uh, when he was on the cross uh, it was the ninth hour if you notice he didn't talk about any day now oh Sheba rap Sheba Daniel chapter 9 tell you what day perfectly the perfect numbers of the day he would come and die huh? but they didn't understand the hour oh Sheba ba, ba, ba. so while he was on the cross the Bible says on the ninth hour he gave up the ghost an earthquake struck Struck the earth. Shabba baba. Some of the ninth hour gathering. Connected. Some of the ninth hour gathering. Some of the ninth hour gathering. An earthquake struck the earth. And good people were resurrected. You gotta get it correct. Good people were resurrected. That means they can't kill you. No matter what they do, come on somebody, in this hour is resurrection power. Come on somebody, come on somebody. I hear God says, gather yourself. I hear God, can let me tell you, I tell you, I'm, I'm sitting down, I'm trying to run away from the nine. But everywhere I turn, every fulfillment of prophecy is nine. I'm running away. Even one lady said, Bishop, I want to make some t-shirt about nine. I said, no, no, no. Even though I preach it, I don't like it. So I said, no, no, no t-shirt. My God, have mercy here. But everywhere I turn is nine. You ain't hearing me. Every, every, every prophecy fulfilled is nine. Come on, somebody. I was traveling from, from Michigan to go to Atlanta. And my gate was E64. 64. I went to 54. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with me, somebody, the plane delay. Those who can't count, can't, can't work with me right now. The plane delay. Hey, and I left 6 30. None of those who can't count can't work with me. Oh, I got a mercy here. Oh, Lord God. And I arrive at nine. Come on, somebody. And I arrive at the place of Atlanta Church, which is 2916. Address. Oh, my. Oh, those who can't count can't come with me. You should study mathematics in school. Shira. And the address I went is Mountain Industrial Boulevard. Count the numbers. You get 27. So, so everywhere I run, I say, I, I, I don't want to push it. God, I want to. That Gideon, I say, God, I don't want to. You, you, you know what? You know which one knocked me up, not knock me down? God prophesied in Atlanta that there is a woman, a grown woman, about to arise in America and create a rampage in America within 48 hours. It happened. A woman in California, San Diego, California, went on a rampage. If you look in the news, the very word prophesy, rampage, is the very word by the news. Woman with gun on a rampage in California. They have to have evacuation. Did you hear what I said? They have to evacuate school, evacuate the community. Come on, somebody. But here's what knocked me up. Say amen. She was in standoff. 
with the police for nine hours. Are you with me? Why? Come on. God is speaking. And let me tell you, do not be children in understanding. As the Bible said, it means God has brought us down to the hour. And God said, will you watch with me? Come on. One hour. Give me a chance. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can't save anybody. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can't save anybody. Come on. I'm just a nobody. the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for all you wonderful people who have gathered yourself in this ninth hour. In this ninth hour gathering. Hallelujah. 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 And God want me to tell you how to become a ninth hour winner. Hallelujah. You're going to help me because God has been dealing with some of you already. Hallelujah. About a ninth hour winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God for all the servants of the Lord in the move of God. Amen. In my hand. I have this Spanish version, language of World Vision Day. Anytime you want to please God, the response must be greater than the report. Can I teach you now? Did you get that? I said I have in my hand uh, the Spanish copy. There is one billion Spanish people on the earth. One seven of the earth are Spanish. And in my hand is the Spanish version. Over the weekend, we go to the biggest church in Central America. Oh, the biggest, the biggest. 30,000 people. And they have asked for the vision. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. So I, I release this book in the name of Jesus. Amen. I release this book in the name of Jesus. I cover the distribution under the blood in the name of Jesus. It will go to the corners of the earth and revive the earth with power. Hallelujah. Say with me in the name of Jesus. We release the Spanish version of World Vision Day. Dia Mundial de la Vision. To the earth in Jesus' name. Shall revive all. Shall revive all. Some of the ninth hour revival. Sit down. <laughs> Don't give me no trouble because I already announced the gathering overflow for Atlanta. So you, you go short and you see. Come on, somebody. They're jumping and shouting already. So I can't change my mind again. Come on. I already talk. Come on. When we finish right here, we all go to Atlanta. I told them 200 people coming from, from New York to come down there. I told them to take out their mattresses and everywhere. Come on, come on. I'm, I don't lie. I tell it like it is. Come on, somebody. Them brethren, you know, some delegates who come here are still down there. Come on, somebody. You better call them to tell them to come up. Come on, somebody. Amen. Some are down there praying up a storm. Yeah, down there. Some of the bishops and pastors, they're down there. They haven't left yet. Come on, so I have to run and leave them. Come on, somebody, in case, in case I get influenced. Come on. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Someone said, nine the hour winner. You can say last days, I mean last hour winner, final hour winner. Come on, somebody. Amen. Someone said, ninth hour winner. How to become a ninth hour winner? You have got to first become a ninth hour watcher. A watcher. A watcher is, uh, in some ways, not necessarily a prophet. <laughs> but you have uh, made yourself available before the Lord to watch. Hallelujah. In this hour. Glory to God. Watchmen don't watch according to day. <laughs> Watchmen watch according to hour. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're getting somewhere. Come on. Come on, somebody. Oh, God is so organized. You, my, my God of mercy. Glory to God. Some of the ninth hour winner. Habakkuk 2 verse 1 says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Oh, glory to God. And will watch to see Come on. What he will say to me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. A watcher going to be dissatisfied with all that you consider you know to do. Huh. Men are going to have a lot of problems. Folks just want me to do their own thing. All, all when they don't say it, I know. I see it right through them. They just wish I don't go here and don't intensify this. I'm telling you, like it, I see it, I feel it. Come on, somebody. One way I know is how you respond to the report. Come on, somebody. I heard a young man preach this week. I never knew he could preach like that. I said, my God of mercy. Here I'm telling another, another member. I hear them, okay. Are you, you follow me? No, man, that's bad. Come on. I never hear you preach like that. I know you preach. And I'm excited at the bishop. I said, many of you here. Okay. Witchcraft. You're working witchcraft. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to pull me down. You're trying to nullify me. You're trying to stagnate me. So I don't raise up more. Because the more raise up is, is, is the more insignificant you're going to be. Say it like it is. Somebody never preached, but then they start to preach. You know what it is to be a preacher? You know when God raised up one preacher, you, you, you just play thing. Come on, somebody. One preacher can change the world, and here you're, you're okay. Come on, somebody. Drop that from your 
vocabulary in God's work. Tonight, tonight, I was saying to somebody, Happy New Year, I changed them. Happy New Year, everybody going to go happy, happy holidays. I said, Blessed New Year. <laughs> Come on. Change your words. They were happy down God. Come on, somebody here. My God of mercy. Come on, somebody. During the longest holiday, they don't call it happy holiday. They call it happy holiday. Two months during summer. The hypocrites. In two weeks of Christmas, they don't want to call it happy. They're out of all the blood. So, you're giving me trouble right there now. Come on, Jama. The first thing about being a ninth hour winner is that you put yourself in a condition and say, I, I want to hear what I'm not doing well in. I'm waiting for God to reprove me. I don't have it all together. Things have changed. I did last year very well. Things have changed right now. And I, I come on, somebody. I want more than the leading of God. You better pray I don't preach long. Come on, come on somebody. Oh, glory to God. I, I, I want more than the leading of God. Is there anything like that? Which I'm, you, you, you're gone into heresy. Yeah. I want more than the leading of God. Come on, there's something mightier than the leading of God. Come on, somebody. It's called the order of God. Come on, somebody. We are God, order your steps. You want to go here. My God, but God see your heart. So he put you back in line. He allows something to go wrong. Come on. You're trying to buy the house and you can't get it to buy. You don't know you can't buy it there no more. Stop strain yourself. Come on, somebody, and let God order your step. For God says in Psalm 37, verse 23, lift your hand if you are good people. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He said, the steps, help me hear somebody of good men. Come on with me. Somebody are ordered by the Lord. You want to be a ninth hour winner? Stop, conclude that you are doing well. And say, God, reprove me, God. I want to hear something from you. I want to straighten me out, God. I want to drop all my desires. I want to drop all I want to do. Lord, I want to follow your order. Can I get in trouble? Order is a militant word. Come on, somebody. Amen is the army use it most. See, you see? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's an army militant word. You want God to take over your softness. Come on, somebody. And make you militant. Make you dreadful. Come on, somebody. It's all the time. I want to sleep, but I want to go. You know, I've been in ministry since eight months almost every day. Come on, somebody. And folks think the bishop excited, jump on plane, gone here. Ask my wife, I don't want to do it. Sometime in the time come, they take me to the airport. I, who take me to the, I said, pray for me because I don't want to go. Come on, I'm, I'm giving out some money. Come on, somebody. You hear me? Oh, bishop, I thought he was, I thought he was deep. You know, and, and you know, oh, no, no, no. Come on, convention just over Sunday night. And by Monday, after going to Brazil, and convention finished 21 days and, and exhausted. Got to go to Brazil. When I reached the airport, I told the preacher man, I said, please pray for me. I don't want to go. And before the preacher man prays soft so nobody don't see him, he pray, let them hear him. I said, God, 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 touch the bishop. Glory to God. And when he finished pray, though I didn't want nobody else here, I felt stronger. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And when I went to Brazil, you ain't hearing me when I went to Brazil the biggest door open ever in the harvest army come on so something mightier than leading something mightier than desire is the order of God oh I, I don't feel like doing it come on somebody but the order of God because God see your heart but your energy is low You want to be a ninth hour winner? Glory to God. You want to be a ninth hour winner? Get ready to be watching so much that when God turn the corner, you turn the corner. Amen. Learn to watch the heart of your leader. 
I'm teaching you. Because most of you think you just to pray and fast. Come on, somebody. God, make it easy. Come on, somebody. Learn to feel the heartbeat. It's not only seeing, is hearing. Come on, get in trouble here, somebody. You must go to the heart of your leader. Did you hear what I said? I'm giving you the bum here. He ain't working with me. Glory to God. Get your heart beat. Rapa shakata shaba shibaba. For some time, where is heart poof poof poof? It. He don't have the strength to do. He don't have the energy to do. He can manage the opposers, but you know about it. Come on, somebody. You know about it. He said, no devil going to stop this. No devil going to break down this. I'm going to the tear on the first wall. Oh, Shabba. Ah. When we're enlarging this building, all kind of a stronghold don't want us. Some said the kitchen was here. Why they moved the kitchen? Some deep people. Holy Ghost people, why they, they come to the morning, they do it there. Why they move the kitchen? They almost want to speak in tongues. <laughs> so the leader get intimidated. So one day, he said, tear down the bathroom over there. Tear it down. Then I say, oh, somebody's going to come and say, where's the bathroom? <laughs> so, the, so the leader called back. Called back the young man. To say, don't tear it down again. Guess what? They tear it down already. <laughs> You're not with me, somebody. Glory to God. Then I come Sunday morning like I'm full of faith. Glory to the church bigger. Come on, somebody. But the young men tear down the wall. Oh, Sheba. You're not getting me. You're not getting me. Somebody. David was a mighty man of God. But he needed some water. He was thirsty. You're not talking to me. He was the mighty call man of God. But he said, I wish I could have some water. Oosh. Someone said, night how? Winner, you're gonna be a watcher. You watch for things others don't see. You're watching the Holy Ghost. You watch for what should have been said, but leader was intimidated. And you say, Lord, show me, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Someone said, Nine hour. Winner, yes, yes, uh, I will stand upon my watch. We can't finish tonight. Amen. And set me upon the tower and will watch to see, my God, what he will say to me and what I shall answer. Stand up, everybody. We can't go no further. God is looking for watchers. To be winners. The plan for the day can't work. The last days can't work. There's a shift. Yes, there's a shift. Hallelujah. You have to be ready for the hour. This is the hour that the apostles missed him. They did well right you. And they missed the hour. And they fell asleep. After being faithful. To be God's ninth hour winners. Yes. You're going to be winners. And to start, you've got to be watchers. The Bible says in Job 24 1, why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? Do those who know Him not see His day? In Luke 12 56, he says, We hypocrites, we can understand the weather. We know when rain is coming. We can evaluate the black clouds, but we don't know his time. Hallelujah. He says in Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 5, a wise man's heart discerning time. He said in Psalm 74 and verse 9. He said, there's no more any prophet. 
There's no more anyone who know it. How long? What is going on here? Come on, somebody. He said in Amos 3, 7, he says, I'm going to reveal it to you. God said, I will allow nothing to happen unless I reveal it to my servants, the prophets. Watch me, I'm closing right now. Somebody sent, a, a viewer sent a comment, positive comment, and they said, how come Harvest Army prophesied so much prophecy and it come to pass? How come so much? No, I tell you, you talk to any prophet, if you want to be safe, you prophesy only a small amount. Because the more you prophesy, is the more, come on, come on, what's the word? Is the more possibility for you to miss. Are you with me, Some The more probability of missing. So you get one good, you wait a year. Somebody. Hey, brother, how come so many, so many, so many, two scripture. Hosea 12, 10. God said that the prophets, the ministry of the prophets see multiplied visions. Hallelujah. You got to get that verse. <laughs> Not added vision. Uh, not increase visions. Come on, somebody. But multiplied visions. Are you with me? Are you coming with me? Let me tell you why the Bible said. The next verse is Joel 2 28. Because they are accustomed to a one man prophet. They are accustomed to one mighty man prophet. But God says in the last days, that will change. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'll pour up my spirit upon all flesh. Say amen at me. Say amen at me. And old men will dream dreams. Come on, get in the spirit. Come on, somebody. And sons and daughters. But well, you know what? I confess, I always preach that when, when everybody prophesied, then the leader looks smaller and that's all right. You know, the more people prophesy is the more the leader looks small because everyone, no, 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 the Lord correct me. If you teach me to prophesy and I prophesy, you look bigger because it's your child prophesying. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. The children are prophesying and they are right. They are correct. Come on, you see how them prophesy about the woman? The, the gun woman? You think he's the bishop? Come on, somebody. It's so big, it's so like it's the bishop. I'm getting tired of here. It's a little lady in the church. Hey, and the lady in the church who received a gift of prophecy. Come on, somebody. And when she prophesied, had a hit on the head. Come on, somebody. The leader ain't small no more, he's bigger. Lost somebody, you know, come with me. I don't like the first night of this this thing here. Ah, yeah. oh, my God, have mercy here. Yeah. It's not kosher. It's not general. Shibaba, Shibaba. God is about to go into territory you've never been uh, because He's gonna lead. I don't get in trouble here, somebody. You in here? You in with me? I feel like I'm speaking a different language, and that's all right. Come on, somebody. God is about to go into some territory that make us feel uncomfortable. Come on, somebody. You have to depend on Him. Ah! Hey! 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 The Lord is revealing a contrary spirit. And the Lord is revealing a spirit of distraction and more things. You know, you know the Lord is revealing, yeah. And that's why we gotta be come ninth our winners. Or we gotta be watchers. Are you hearing me? And the people I see in the spirit doing these are the best. Come on, somebody. You didn't get me. They are the best. Come on. Listen, listen, men of God. Shake yourself. Be like Prophet Habakkuk. And say, God, I want to hear. I've done good last year. But God, reprove me. God, God, God is, is a new hour. My, what I did last year has become tradition this year. 
Uh, on Mark 7 13 tradition has made the word of God of none effect Shiva Kashavaba Shibaba to be a ninth hour winner in this hour in this final hour to not fall asleep when Jesus tell you to tarry Shibaba I must say Lord reprove me Jesus Lord fix me Lord talk to me about my wrong tell me where I'm going wrong Lord, I want to hear your voice. Lord, I want to see your direction. Lord, I want to be ordered. Hallelujah. Anybody want to be a night or winner? Gather at the heart. Gather at the heart. Gather. Shut up. You don't have to come to show nothing. If you want to be a night or winner, gather at the heart. We ain't following no form and fashion. In this hour, it's not daytime now, it's a hour time. I told you already, I started out myself. I told you I don't know what to do. Am I right? So I'm not picking on nobody right now. I told you I don't know what to do. We have gone from, from age, from dispensation, and from years, and from seasons, and from days into hour. I don't want to miss him no hour. The great men fell down on the final hour. The great men fell down on the ninth hour. I said it was the great men. Now you're talking about Peter and all them big men. Come on, somebody. I ain't gonna fall down. Amen. So come before the Lord. Amen. So he can reprove us. Come on, he can reprove us so we can fix us he can tell you do, it succeed last year but you better talk to me again you better ask me again come on because I want to change the strategy come on somebody are you ain't listening right you are tied up in what you've done so far ah! we can just cry out like Habakkuk right now and say, Lord, talk to me. Show me your way, Lord. Reprove me, Lord. Give me thick skin so I don't get upset and run away because I get rebuked, because I get corrected, because I get transferred, because I get removed. Well, let me warn you, if you're not open to be moved, young man, you ain't gonna go far. I have to say it like it is. If you're not open, I say, leader, send me where you want to send me. And you trust the Lord hey, to order your steps. You ain't going nowhere. You are already a failure. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Come on, somebody here. Go ahead and pray. I say, Lord, I want to be a winner. The hour has changed. I'm not used to this. It's new kind of weather. It's new kind of attacks. It's new kind of stronghold. My God, my God, my God, my God, fix me, Jesus. Order my steps, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Talk to Him, church. This thing is real. Only a little man preaching to you, he don't qualify, but somebody have to preach to you. Yeah, yeah, cry out to Him. Get off your pump and pride and say, Jesus, in this wicked hour, in this night hour, speak to me. Order me, lead me, reprove me, guide me, Jesus! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Lord, hear your 
your voice. Come on, break out. Break out. Open your mouth. Shake down some war tonight. Shake the devil tonight. Ah! Yeah. 
touch somebody, touch somebody, touch somebody. Prove your word, prove your word. me in the name of Jesus. I said shout, that's what I said. Come on somebody. That's what I said. The report must not be stronger than the response. That's why the report come. Come on somebody. Ten men brought a report from the promised land. Come on somebody. And the majority turn it down and behave normal and say okay. Ah, but two brought a good report and God work off the two. Anybody ready to work with the two? So when I get the report, open your mouth and shout the response. Someone say, in the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. Shout in the name of Jesus. I stand before God. I'm ready to be a ninth hour winner. Jesus, be free to reprove me. Jesus, be free to reprove me in this now because I'm ready. Oh, you're ready to be a night of a winner. Bishop Matthews, Bishop Matthews, where you are. 